In this video, we will prepare an image for a dark garment. To open your image in ColorGate, drag and drop it into the archive section, or you can press the open folder to find your image. Once your image is open, you can begin by applying our CSEX files. These files are preset settings that will load to your image. You can find the CSEX files at ricodtg.com. Under Support, visit the Knowledge Base. Select your printer, then select Downloads. Here, you will find the files needed. Select the appropriate file for your garment, then press Open. Then press OK to apply the settings. If you don't see your job placement panel in the main window, you can add it by going to this option above, click on the arrow pointing down, and press Job Placement Panel. Next, let's adjust our size and positioning. Always make sure the proportional box is checked. Here, you have options to adjust our height and our width. Adjust your size accordingly. Here, you can rotate your image if needed. And below, you have your centering margin settings. Offset X will center your image left to right, while the Y offset will center your image top to bottom. Additionally, you can also type in your own margin. We generally print about 2 to 3 inches from the top. If you used our CSEX file at this point, we are ready to start printing. Right-click on your file, then press print. If you need to make additional changes to your YTOR color settings, you can right-click on your image, then press settings. Then under advanced, press settings again. In this window, we will start with our print mode tab. Our first option will be our white print mode. If you find that you need to increase your white ink layer, you can simply raise your resolution to 1200 by 1200. If you lower your resolution, less white ink will print. You can see that in the special color section, under white, we have the setting brightness black substrate selected. This setting will be used when printing on black garments. This option will remove the black areas from your image to avoid printing black on black. This will help reduce ink waste and will give these black areas a more natural look. Our next option is brightness. This setting can be used for any color shirt that is not black or white, for example, red or green. The difference is this setting will print all the black areas. The limit settings we generally wanted at 100. Unless we see the white layer being flooded, we can use limit to start lowering the white layer. Our intensity level will default at 98. Lowering the intensity level will start to decrease the amount of white ink. The way this works is it looks at your colors on top. And in the darker tones, it will start to reduce more white ink than in the brighter color areas. We generally keep this between 85 to 98. Just keep in mind lowering the intensity level too much can result in dull colors. Here is a printed sample. On the left, we have default level 98, which gave us a strong white layer. This in return will give us those bright reds we want. On the right, we have the intensity level at 60. The white ink was lowered too much and now our bright reds will turn into a dull red. The minimum setting will increase white output all around. Increasing the value will increase the amount of white ink above the normal minimum. Where it's normally supposed to be low, we can now set it to print a higher minimum of ink. This setting is image dependent. But if you wish to further increase your white layer, a good place to start is around 20 to 30. And adjust if necessary. Our next setting is our choke value. The choke value will decrease the size of the white layer. This is necessary because when white ink starts to dry, it will expand and this can result in a white line being seen around your image. The value refers to pixels being removed around the image. Using a positive number will achieve the opposite effect. We recommend keeping this from negative 3 to 4. 
our highlight feature will print a second layer of white over the visible areas. For example, in my snake image, the only white areas are my white letters at the bottom. If we use our highlight feature, we'll print a second pass over those white letters. To turn on the highlight feature, switch the option to filling. The intensity level is the amount of white ink it will print during the highlight printing. A good number to start with is 30, but you can increase if necessary. Tolerance refers to what the software considers white areas. In most cases, you only want a highlight print over white areas. A good tolerance level is 10. Increasing the value higher will start to print a white highlight in your off-whites. Just keep in mind higher levels will wash out your lighter tones. Under our color correction tab, we can make adjustments to our color layer. Here we have various options, but the most important will be our contrast. We can use our contrast setting to help saturate colors more or increase vividness. To finalize your settings, press OK below, then press OK again. Right click on your file below, then go to print to send the image to your printer. This concludes our guide. For additional ColorGate resources, please visit our knowledge base or contact our technical support team directly.